quilting trends come and go. Some are long-term loves that we just can't bear to live without. While others are a new friendly face that we're just getting ready to know. We love keeping up to date with the hottest trends, styles, and reoccurring themes in the masses and involving and vibrant community that is the modern quilting world. Many of these trends take inspiration from a wider social movement while others explore fun new techniques such as slowing it down with hand quilting or expanding our quilting skill set. Hello and welcome. I am Jackie with Jackie Russell Creates where we talk about everything quilting, sewing, and embroidering. I give tips, tricks, and techniques so you can conquer that next quilting or sewing project. So if you want to learn some new technique, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So I am hosting a sweepstake giveaway for about six months and you have your chance to win six creative quilting boxes, which would be full of lots of goodies to help you get that creative back. There will be a link in the description below for you to go and sign up for your chance to win. If you have quilting friends, be sure to share with your link and get extra bonus points in to getting into the box. And let's get started talking about trends that are going to be happening in the upcoming year. The first one is patchwork fashion. Quilted coats have been in the spotlight for the last couple years and it's no surprise why they're warm puffy cloud that can actually be wear but we're here to tell you that there's a new kid in the block 2023 is the year for patchwork clothing and accessories this can include colorful patchwork jackets and bags as well as a stunning 70s inspired skirts number two sustainability another trend that we're glad to see on the rise is eco-friendly quilting whether you're using up scraps from your stash rather than going and buying new fabric for every project or maybe you're upcycling some of your old clothing into gorgeous quilts that's saving them from the landfill every little bit helps us to be less wasteful and to create with intention trend number three in prop pc as the modern community quilting community has slowly been making progress in recognizing the massive influence of quilters of g's bend alabama whose historic community is a large part credited with the birth of modern quilting aesthetic so too have they embraced some of their methods namely that of the improv quilting. Quilt artist Zach Foster, designer of a quilt back in ASAP's Rocky's iconic Meat Gala look, Zach described the improv quilting method as a way to quilt in the present moment and allow the inherent properties of the textiles to guide you rather than sticking to the confined of the confines of the pattern. He explains that the G's Bin Quilters method were hugely informative for his work and that he owed a lot of gratitude toward them, as do multitude of other modern quilters who have explored improv quilting techniques and no doubt many more who will do so in the coming year. Two-tone quilts. A modern quilters, as modern quilters, we all love a quilt that packs a punch of bright colors. You can easily achieve this effect without overcomplicating things by piecing striking two-tone quilts. We've been seeing these crop up all over the place but we're not complaining these minimalist 
approach allows a statement of color of your choice to steal the spotlight. Pictural quilt. Quilting is an art form, and we all know this, but sometimes us quilters want to really drill that point home. This is where picture full, picture, pictural quilts come in. They've been taking the modern quilting world by storm. And it's no surprise why they allow quilters to really get creative and quilt a whole illustration. The next one is slow stitching. Perhaps it's no surprise that the wake of all the stress and strategy that came with COVID-19 pandemic, we as makers have come to appreciate the slow calming methods of creating such hand quilters, quilting and applique. These more traditional methods have been taken up by many this year due to their often therapeutic nature, allowing us to focus on a task in front of us and busy our hands with slow, purposeful stitching that's kind to the mind. Funky texture! One of the many great things about quilts is just how versatile they are. You can make quilts from fat quarters, fat scraps, old clothes, and a range of other textiles. One way that people have been shaking up the quilting community and game recently is by adding fresh new textures to their quilts by using fabric such as chenille. If you liked a cozy textile bomb to your next project that fits for fashion of the new year, consider incorporating some chenille or other interesting fabrics into your design. So which one of these trends are you most interested in? Comment in the comment section below and let us know. Who knows? Maybe that will be our next quilt project that we do on this channel. What ones have you tried already and kind of liked? Wouldn't mind exploring some more. Which ones didn't you like and why? Let us know. Until then, happy quilting, my friends.